Hey guys, welcome. I was chatting on this particular WhatsApp group about the new released COVID-19 vaccine that came into Nigeria when a lady then said that she had already registered and then she had to pay to fast track the process of registering and that she got the link from a particular WhatsApp group. And then when people asked for the link, she sent the link and guess what? Scammers have begun work already. So it's no news that the COVID-19 vaccine has been shipped to Nigeria and is already in Nigeria as I speak. The government body in charge of the distribution of the vaccine is the MPHCDA, that is the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency. So they are the ones in charge of distribution of the vaccines and then selecting a date and the way the vaccines will be shared. So you might have a lot of questions like when can we get the vaccines, where can we get the vaccines, how can we even register for the vaccines or do we need to register or we just get the vaccines? How exactly do we go about getting the vaccines? Well, in this video, I'm going to briefly discuss everything and most importantly, I'm going to tell you the scams to watch out for in this vaccine distribution and then registration process. So the first one, when are we getting the vaccines? Well, it's not sure when we are going to get the vaccines, but the major thing is that the vaccines are in Nigeria, but the MPHCDA, that is the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, they've not said how these vaccines will be distributed, but one thing that they've made clear is that it will first start with the health workers because they will have to safeguard them first in case they need to treat people, so they need to be vaccinated first. That is the only thing they've stated first of all. So, but there's another thing that I need you to know. The process of registration is on. Yes, the process is on in case you don't know. You can register online, but I'll talk about that when I get to how you can register for the vaccines. So the second one, in case you're asking, where can we get the vaccines? Well, it's not sure where we can get the vaccines now. The government body in charge has not said anything about where we are going to get it. If we are going to go to the hospitals or if it is going to be administered in our homes, we really don't know anything about it yet as they've not made any statement on that because the vaccines they have are just not enough to go around Nigerians. It's just about a quarter of the whole population or less than a quarter of the entire population. So right now they have not said anything. Hopefully they are still working on how the distribution will go about. So, but you don't need to worry about that. Before the end of this video, I'll show you the social media platforms and websites you need to follow or watch out for to get more information on how the vaccines or distribution of the vaccines is going to go. Now, I just have a note of warning for everyone. This applies to those in Nigeria especially, but those in other countries can take note of this. During this period of the vaccine or distribution of the vaccines, you will most likely see what they call phishing links or you see scammers putting different links to collect your personal information or even requesting for money or credit card details. So for example, you could see links on WhatsApp saying you should, you should click on this link to register or you might see links on Telegram. So some scams you need to watch out for might come mostly on social media platforms. For example, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, where you get to see sponsored ads with fake info about the vaccination. You might see the ad telling you to fill a Google form and put in some details and your credit card details to get the vaccine. Or even they might even tell you that you can fast track the whole process to get your vaccine quickly before any other person should get the vaccine. Please do not listen to those people. Do not, anything you see on social media, any sponsored ads you see, saying any of those things if it is not from these verified social media platforms as you can see on your screen please do not respond to those sponsored advertisements remember anybody can sponsor an advertisement with fake links another place where you can see lots of these scammers are on messaging platforms like whatsapp telegram and facebook messenger all these other platforms you might see them sending links it might be bitly links they might be sending all these links and telling you that you can get the vaccine here that you just need to register here some they might not require payment some they might not tell you to pay so they might tell you to pay and those ones that might not tell you to pay they might be collecting your passwords for your email and so many other things why you might see some that might be telling you to make payments or fast track the whole process they can come anyway these scammers are quite smart they know how to trick people into doing what they want and then the final place you need to be careful of is online when you're browsing you might see all these blogs or all these websites that might have pop-ups and then the pop-ups might be telling you to register for the covid19 vaccine please do not listen to those pop-ups or those advertisements so now the main thing that i'm sure most of us want to hear is how can we register well it is very 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 easy to register so to register what you do is you go to your browser you can use chrome chrome is better google chrome you type mphcda.gov.ng and you enter so you will see the website this is what the website looks like as you can see so what you do is you can see the three 
can see the three lines on the top right corner of your screen you just tap on it and then you will see covid 19 you see that covid 19 vaccine just there you click on it then you can see this page this is registration portal so you can see the website name has changed to mphcdaict.com.ng so it's like their ict site so they use a different domain but every you can just follow the process you get to this point so that in case you see this website and the other one is still the same thing but if you want to register just use the website i showed you so you can see you type full name you type your first name put your middle name put all these details required okay so you fill all the details required if you have problem if you have a problem when registering or you don't really understand what you're supposed to do you can go ahead and call one of those numbers and then they will put you through you can see upload photos put your face only and then when you finish doing everything you click on submit and then they will schedule a date for you sometimes due to the traffic and the number of people visiting that website it might be down and it might not be going you might see this camera trying to use the opportunity to send you an extra link to tell you that right now the particular website is down and you can go ahead and click on this particular link and that this is a backup link for registration please do not listen to them if it is not this particular platform or if the information is not gotten from those particular social media handles i gave you if the info is not from them please be careful the mphcda social media accounts like the twitter or the facebook account is verified you will see a blue tick beside those names to show you that it is the original social media account some people will craft social media handles looking like that but if you don't see those blue ticks if you don't see that verified symbol do not respond to them do not ask them any question please be careful and open your eyes one thing you should be careful of, or one thing you should take note in all of this is that there is no payment everything is for free the vaccines are for free and then they will not request for sensitive information like card details or your passwords they might request for email and phone number as seen on their registration website so you just need to follow the processes you can see on the screen to register it is very very easy so just in case you have any questions during your registration or you quite don't understand anything during the registration process you can go ahead and call the numbers on your screen they are free toll numbers which means you can call these numbers for free in case you need to ask questions relating to registration or if you have some issues with your registration but take note you might not be responded to because so many people might be trying to call or reach out to these numbers you can always reach out to them on their social media platforms their social media handles are on the screen you can reach out to them on these platforms and then ask any question you need to ask so that's all i wanted to share with you in this video so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also you can click on this to watch the video from mphcda themselves where they explained on the process they are going to take and how you can get the vaccines so thank you for watching remember to stay safe your online safety is key don't let scammers fool you don't get scammed